Here is a time-lapse video of the new Upneak eye drop that treats upper lid droop. I filmed for 15 minutes. That is when almost 100% of the results can be seen. The peak treatment time is at 2 hours. I took a picture of myself at that time. Still photos of before and after with just one eye being treated and then both eyes is at the end. For the first 20 seconds of the video I noticed my face was in a bit of a shadow so I turned more into the natural light, but then tried not to move. I find the results are more apparent when smiling so I occasionally smiled to show that. Upneak, oxymetazoline, is an FDA-approved, prescription eye drop that temporarily improves droopy eyelids, aka ptosis, caused by a weak muscle in the upper eyelid. Low-lying eyelids can be a cosmetic concern. They can make you look tired or sad, or a functional issue that restricts your vision. Upneak contracts one of the eyelid muscles that elevates the eyelid, allowing the eyelid to open 1 to 2 millimeters m wider, enough to create a noticeable difference. Dubbed, the drop and lift, the medication is used once a day. Results are typically seen within 15 minutes and last 6 to 8 hours. Upneak provides an alternative to neurotoxins like Botox, or ptosis surgery. Previously the only options for raising droopy eyelids. Upneak, oxymetazoline hydrochloride ophthalmic solution, in medical terms, is a vasoconstrictive. In other words, it constricts blood vessels. This active ingredient is also found in nasal sprays like Afrin. As a decongestant, oxymetazoline shrinks blood vessels in the nasal passages to allow air to pass through more easily. In the upper eyelid, Upneak works by activating the Muller's muscle, which helps elevate the eyelid, resulting in approximately 2 mm of lift. About 10-12% to of adults have a droopy eyelid, so it's a common problem. But not everyone is a good candidate for Upneak. For instance, Upneak works only on cases of acquired ptosis, meaning the condition develops later in life, often as a function of aging. It's not a treatment for congenital ptosis, which is present at birth. The temporary lift Upneak provides makes it a good option for people who need a quick fix for an occasion or photos, so they look more open-eyed. Are unsure about undergoing a surgical eyelid lift, which can produce a long-lasting 5 to 6 mm lift, or aren't good surgical candidates. Want a test run before committing to surgery to give them an idea of how they may look after surgery. People with severe ptosis, those who'd need more than 2 mm of lift, are not ideal candidates. Nor are people who have drooping eyelids due to excess skin, saggy eyebrows, or underlying eye injury or nerve problems. Upneak won't help in these cases. Pros, it's a fast-acting, non-surgical solution to a fairly common concern. Upneak eye drops typically kick in after just 15 minutes, whether you're using them regularly or for the first time. Upneak is very effective in people with mild ptosis, classified as 1 to 2 mm droop, providing a noticeable eye-opening effect. In clinical studies, most people reported a measurable lift. Those who've tried Upneak generally have a favorable response and like the subtle enhancement of their eyes achieved with the drops. It can be used in only one eye to correct asymmetry. Side effects, including dryness, eye irritation, and blurred vision, are infrequent, occurring in 1-5% to of patients in clinical trials. It's compatible with contact lenses and other types of eye drops. Upneak can be used to at least partially correct Botox-induced ptosis, the droopy eyelid that can occur if the toxin drifts or is injected incorrectly. Cons, the uplifting effect is mild and short-lived. Upneak lasts 6 to 8 hours per dose. The improvement won't be enough to fully correct drooping that's moderate, 3 minus 4 millimeters, or severe, 4 plus m. Its safety hasn't been evaluated for longer than 84 days, so its long-term effects on eye health are not yet known. The medication is expensive, there's no generic version, and it isn't covered by insurance. Upneak costs between $220 and $250 for a 45-day supply in the U.S. that translates to between $4.90 and $5.56 per day. It's possible to find coupons online. You can also cut your Upneak eye drops costs by setting up an ongoing subscription. Insurance will not cover the cost of Upneak, 
either as an elective cosmetic treatment or to treat medical conditions like ptosis. Even though it's FDA approved for medical use, insurance companies like Cigna still consider it experimental, investigational, or unproven. This stance may change as more long-term data becomes available. Upneak is easy to use. It comes in single-use vials, with enough product for one drop for each eye. After washing your hands, apply one drop of the clear liquid daily to each eye, once a day. To help reduce the risk of infection, take care not to let the tip of the vial touch your eye, or anything else. If you wear contact lenses, wait 15 minutes after administering the eye drops to put in your contacts. If you use another kind of eye medication, including over-the-counter eye drops, talk to your doctor to be sure it's safe to use with Upneak. If you get the okay, wait at least 15 minutes after putting in Upneak before using any other medication. According to the FDA, Upneak is safe and effective for the treatment of acquired eyelid tosses in healthy adults. To gain approval, Upneak showed effectiveness in four clinical trials that followed 568 patients with acquired blepharoptosis. In the clinical trials, oxymetazoline 0.1% was administered once daily for 14 to 84 days. The most common side effects of Upneak, occurring in 1 to 5% of patients, were eye inflammation, redness, and irritation, dry eye blurred vision, eye pain around the time of use, headache, while most side effects are mild. Upneak may not be right for everyone, especially those with underlying medical conditions. You can get a prescription online without being seen by a doctor, and many types of physicians offer it, which concerns some eye specialists. You be the judge, did it make enough of a difference?